Good afternoon, good afternoon, welcome back to AR Radio Salgero in Spain. Today, 1st September 2021, we now bring you the news from Bangil de Gambia in English. We start with the headlines and after the details. The first story on Standard News is Rambo filed case against the APRC man who accused him of bribery. News of Jamie's sickness. And also, Barrow promises youth unprecedented development if re-elected. The same from State House. Nation address next week, President Adam Barrow. My dismissal cost Gambia millions, who said Quran. And also, Army rejects proposed farming project with South African group. Disabled Federation praises media for promoting bills. 20 Navy officers and others trained on international maritime law. Majak, that means media, academy, journalists, conclude training on electoral coverage for community so let me see the side foreign minister meets african or africa peer review mechanism delegation so those are the headlines from standard newspaper let's see whether we can press another one. So that's all. We start with the stories we haven't read before, which is the army reject proposed farming, and then the 20 Navy officers and others. But we start with armies. Welcome. The headline Army reject proposed farming project with South African group. This one by Tabora Bojang, read by Hajalama Air Radio Sal Geruna Spain today, 1st September 2021. Now the details the Deputy Chief of the Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Brigadier General Mamad Cham, has disclosed that GFE's proposed multi-million dollar project with South African partner partners AGCO group has collapsed because it does not represent Gambia's vital national interest, he said. Cham made this disclosure during a vegetable harvesting exercise at the Gulf Banking Gardens yesterday. News of the Army's plan involvement in agriculture broke out last year and the AGCO group was said to be willing to invest about 120 million US dollars into the project which also include animal animal house boundary and poultry with the army saying it could save the government up to 48 million dollars in 48 million dollars it spends on purchasing rice for soldiers annually but according to deputy cds cham gaff declined the offer because they believe it does not present a win-win situation for army our announcement was very clear. We had partners who came in and approached us the approach us that they have got the technical and financial capacity to support and partner with the armed forces to venture into agriculture. They later came with a memorandum of understanding 
which we review and also propose our own amendments to ensure it is a win-win thing but just because we desire to venture into large-scale agriculture does not mean we should go into unfavorable agreements. The negotiation did not get on well and the partnership eventually collapsed. In our assessment, it was not something that we thought we should go into because it was not representing our vital national interest and as patriotic soldiers, we cannot go into anything that will compromise the interests of this country or the armed forces. Brigadier General Cham explained. Cham, however, noted that despite these developments, the Army's ambition of venturing into agriculture principally rice production remains a lively dream. Our doors are still open and the dream is still alive. We have secured enough land in CRR and we are also reviewing some project documents that will need some capital outlays which we are now trying to work out with our ministry he added harvesting meanwhile the deputy cds also presided over the media harvesting of vegetables at the gaff gardens in banjulunding which was started as a pilot project by the army chief yankuba drame in june as part of the gaff commitment to venture into meaningful agricultural production the production was carried out by 26 soldiers selected from various um, army units across the country joined by some civilian the harvested vegetables include bitter tomatoes garden eggs and okra among other vegetables expected to supplement feeding and provided nutrition for soldiers speaking at the farm deputy cds cham said this is just a pilot project and if we can yield such a good harvest it goes to so that our dream of going into the agricultural value chain precisely in the production of rice into the CRR is a feasible option and we want to use the occasion to call on Gambians and organizations to support GAF into activities with, within our constitutional mandate to join us in this venture. He said the army is not trying to compete, compete anybody through its agricultural activities saying like all other army forces they venture into these activities to support the socio-economic development of the country it ends there <laughs>